Crossed eyes or strabismus is a condition in which both eyes do not look at the same place at the same time. It usually occurs in people who have poor eye muscle control or are very far sighted. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. And make sure to give a little love tap on the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. So what is strabismus? Let's talk about it in today's video. This is also known as hypertropia and crossed eyes. It is a misalignment of the eyes, causing one eye to deviate either inward, so that's called ESO, esotropia is in, or outward toward the ear, that is exotropia. So in is ESO, out is exo, while the other eye remains focused. So this is when you have one eye turning either in or out. What is the main cause of strabismus? What would cause this? Well, it usually develops in infants and young children, and it's most often by age three. But older children and adults can also develop the condition. People often believe that a child with strabismus will outgrow the condition, but that's a really dangerous thing to think because that is not true. In fact, strabismus may get worse without treatment and can even lead to amblyopia, which is a condition where one eye does not develop 20-20 vision like its counterpart. You can imagine when you're a child, you're actually still developing your vision. And so if you have an eye that's turning in or turning out consistently, that eye is not getting the stimulus to see it's not getting the same light as the other eye and so amblyopia is when that crossed or turned or strabismic eye doesn't develop vision like the other eye does and is permanently has worse vision and that can be anywhere from 2025 in the affected eye with amblyopia all the way up to 2400 or worse. So of course I have to recommend a doctor of optometry should examine any child order older than four months whose eyes do not appear to be straight all the time. So there's actually a program called Infancy that was started by the American Optometric Association. I'm a part of this program where we offer a free eye exam for every child within their first year of life. And ideally I'd like to see your child between six and ten months old to make sure that they don't have a high prescription or any strabismus that could cause other vision issues. We also like to see children at two and at five before starting school. So strabismus can also be caused by stroke so it's not always in children it can actually be caused by stroke which is the leading cause of strabismus in adults as well as head injuries, you know, traumatic brain injuries, because the area of the brain responsible for control of eye movement can be affected in a head injury. If the nerves that control eye movement are affected, again, by lack of blood flow, tumor, or something else, or even the eye muscles are affected, you can have an adult onset strabismus or eye turn. There's also neurological problems, so nervous system problems that can cause double vision and strabismus eye turns as well. So one of these is Graves' disease, where there's an overproduction of thyroid hormone and the muscle bellies of the muscles, um, the extraocular muscles get larger, which can cause a host of other issues. I made a whole video about it here, but that can cause an eye to turn as well because those muscles are not the size they used to be. You have an increase in the actual size of the muscle belly of the extraocular muscle and it can change the way the eye moves. Another disease where you can have turning of the eyes is myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is a condition where the muscles lose tone or lose ability to work over the course of a day. So really common to have ptosis or double vision. Ptosis being an eye droop or double vision as a presenting sign of myasthenia gravis. Or even multiple sclerosis can cause eye turns as well if you have um, a spot, a flare of multiple sclerosis in the right spot in the brain or the wrong spot in the brain. If you have it in the spot in the brain that controls eye movement, you can have double vision from, from MS as well. So how do you fix strabismus in the eye? Well, treatment for strabismus can include eyeglasses, prisms. Um, prisms are a special type of lens that bend the light and move the image for the patient. Vision therapy can be used to increase muscle strength or you can even do eye muscle surgery. If you do detect um, strabismus early and treat it early, it can often be corrected with really excellent results. So people with strabismus 
for Business have several options to improve their eye alignment and coordination and even cosmesis of how their eyes look. Is for Business the same as a lazy eye? So I love this question. Many people do make the mistake of saying that a person who has a crossed or turned eye, which is strabismus, has a lazy eye. But lazy eye technically is amblyopia, which is when that eye does not see as well as the other eye. And it's very possible to have a turned eye that still sees really well. So amblyopia and strabismus are not the same condition. Both of them are treatable by optometrists, ophthalmologists, vision therapists, but strabismus is the medical term for crossed eye, which is a problem with eye alignment in which both eyes don't look at the same place at the same time. Amblyopia is the medical term for lazy eye, and that's a problem with visual acuity or eyesight, not eye alignment. Many people make the mistake of saying that a person who has a crossed or turned eye has a lazy eye, but they're just not, they're not the same thing. So how does strabismus actually affect vision? Can it affect vision? Well, it's when the eyes aren't aligned properly. So because you need both eyes pointing in the same direction to see properly, it does end up affecting the vision, resulting in signs and symptoms. So you can have double vision when your eyes aren't pointing both in the same spot, blurry vision, difficulty in reading, loss of your depth perception. So humans require binocularity in order to achieve depth perception or what we call stereopsis. So when you have a lack of alignment in the eyes and now you're having to use monocular depth cues, it leads to an inability to judge how far or near something is and, uh, and have depth perception if you don't have both eyes working together. Okay, so that was a really quick intro to eye turns and strabismus with a little bit in there about amblyopia as well. It obviously, there's a lot to all of this. So if you'd like to see more videos about strabismus and amblyopia, please comment down below. We didn't even get into patching or, or any of that in today's video. But if you have made it this far and you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you would so that you don't miss any videos. And that is it for today's iSchool. Class is dismissed.